Hi there folks, uh, I'm in Christchurch and in the absence of having a little user manual um, to teach you about the um, uh, video stuff, I'm just going to quickly show you stuff that, that we have here and, and how to set things up. Um, in the morning if you're coming in, um, one of the first things you need to do is switch the PA on. Let me just show you how to do that. Um, so you come to the desk. Um, no, it's all, it's all on, it's all off, all on at the minute. But I'll, I'll just show you quickly. Um, so there's a little bit of paper down here that'll give you the instructions what to do first. So the first thing you do is you switch on the desk. At the desk there are two switches. You put them both on. Okay, there's two switches. Then you put on the wireless transmitter. You just bear in mind that whenever I'm filming this on the 14th of December that there is a problem with the lapel mics, which we're going to raise with the vestry. Um, so um, it will mean that in the meantime that you use the handheld mics through this box, so the handheld mics, which you can find in this um, uh, briefcase. So once you have that on, the little thing says that you switch the amp on. The amp is down here, it's the bottom thing. You press it to on and that's it on. Don't worry about this other box. This is for the, the videos and that, that's always on. So that's, that's that bit. In terms of the screen and the projector, you've got two remote controls. First one is this one. This brings the screen up and down. So uh, basically that button takes, I'll show you, uh, that takes the screen up into its housing or if you press it, um, if you press it, it'll go down again, okay? And then the two buttons, these two buttons here, are for taking the actual mechanism up into, into the roof. With regard to um, the projector, the projector remote control is this beast, and there's only two buttons you need to worry about at the top. That one is to switch it on, and then at the end of the service, you press this one, the standby button. You press it once and then twice, and that will give you a little bleep, and that'll be it switched off. Okay. Sometimes best that you have the projector on, so as you can see that happening. So let me just show you. If I press standby now, it brings up a little display. You confirm by pressing the standby again, and it switches it off. Okay. If you want to switch it on, you press that button, the on button, and that will. Uh, bring it on and in a minute or two it'll just get itself going and you'll see um, an Epson display and, and that'll get it going again. Okay, so that's that's that. But with with regard to um, the connecting to the projector and all of that, there's a couple of options. Down at the back you have um, a 15-pin DIN connector that you can use for the old kind of laptops and things like that if you want to use that. Um, the other way that you can use it is via um, the Apple uh, the Apple TV box so that does Wi-Fi. To do that what you need to do is you first of all need to be connected onto the Netgear. Okay? If you need to connect to the Netgear take a wee photograph of that wee uh, panel there and that will bring up your settings but if not find Netgear in your settings and uh, your Wi-Fi settings on your device uh, and then key in that network key that'll connect you. Once you're on there really then you take your device your app this would be for Apple only you take your Apple device let me just do this and um, you make sure that you're also connected to the network so let me just go on and do that um, so that's me, and you'll see the network comes up, Netgear. So it's Netgear. You make sure you're connected to that. Once you're connected to that, um, you need to mirror your screen. And there's an option, if you pull your right-hand uh, element down from the top, you'll see screen mirroring. And under screen mirroring, what it will do, in a minute or two, is it'll bring up, you see that says Christchurch Apple TV. You connect to that. And that means then if we look on the screen, you'll see that everything 
that I have on my, uh, my screen is mirrored now to there. So it means I can go into, for example, um, say, say I went into, sorry, let's just do it again. Um, say I went into Keynote, which is equivalent to PowerPoint. Okay. And press play on that. You'll see that that's displaying there. Okay. If you want to physically connect um, to it, um, at the minute we have a small teething problem, but I hope that in the next couple of days that will be uh, resolved. Um, but let me show you the, the, the two options at the minute. The first option is if you're up near the front. And again, remember your Wi-Fi will work up near the front. But at the front, you will have this HDMI cable which you use to connect to your device. Um, if you need a wee adapter or whatever for it, there's a wee adapter up here as well, okay? Uh, and so that, that allows you to connect from up here, okay? At the minute, as I say, there is a slight teething problem um, that's being sorted out by Johnny, uh, our technician guy. Um, but the alternative is... Um, I don't recommend this at this stage, but if you have to do it, please let me know you're going to do it. Okay, so as we can set it up correctly. Down here, um, there is an HDMI cable here, which you can connect into. So let me just um, show you what you would do. You, would, you just connect into that, and that's it. Now, how do you know which uh, signal you're on, which, which uh, unit you're on? Well, this little box here, this Kramer box, has two options. One is HDMI 1 and HDMI 2. HDMI 1 will give you access via your HDMI cable. HDMI 2, which is uh, on at the minute, gives you your uh, Wi-Fi. Where, so if, so if, I, if I simply want to change, I just move over to it, I press the button, and in a few seconds, it will change then if we had a device connected, okay? And then you press the next one to get back. So you'll see the screen will, uh, in a second or two, change back. There you go, okay? So that, that's that. That stays on all the time, so you don't have to worry about that, okay? So th that's the main thing. In terms of then sound, if you're playing sound through your device, um, channel 9 and 10 is the controller for the sound for any of this stuff that you're trying to connect. Um, when it comes to the end of your time of using it, of using the in a service, you want to put everything away, um, and it's best to put it away in a particular, kind of put it all down in a particular order. Um, you'll see that uh, basically to switch off the, the, this stuff, you do it um, in reverse order. So basically that means you sw switch the amp off first, Amp off, then your wireless transmitters, then the back panel of your um, mixing desk, and that is that all off. Then with regard to the screens and all of that, I say do the, do, the, do the projector first because it's easier to see it. You press the standby button. So I'll just do it here, and you'll see the wee standby thing comes up. And then you press again, that switches that off. And then finally, with regard to the actual screen itself, two buttons. You can press them even at the same time if you want to. So you start off with these two down here, which will take it up, take the mechanism up, and then these for the, these for the actual screen bit itself. So you do that. And that'll start. They work independently of each other, so you don't have to worry. You can press them both at the same time, and you'll see that that is going up. Sometimes the cables get caught up there, and if they do, um, don't don't worry about that. And um, just sometimes they get a wee bit they get a wee bit sticky. Um, it's it's nothing major, but you'll see that that just goes back up into its housing. 
Hope that helps. Um, any questions, um, feel free to ask um, Delph, and I'll, um, I'll step you through any, any problems. As I say, the, the, the big issue we have at the minute is a slight, there's a slight technical issue with regard to using the front area um, if you're physically connecting into the HDMI. Um, but hopefully, uh, by the time uh, this video uh, is out for a week or so, that'll be resolved. Thank you.